Good morning and thanks for joining us. Today, Daniel Doty visits a local spa whose unmistakable entrance is just the beginning of their story. And Catherine Dunn discovers the magic of sea life. But we start with a look at a local hotspot for fans of great food that also supports local farms. The word azador is a Spanish word meaning grill or broiler. It also happens to be the name of a unique farm to fire restaurant right here in Dallas. Nelly Shudo has more. Hi, we're here with Chef Brad Phillips today at Asador Restaurant in the Renaissance Hotel. And Brad, I understand you make a harvest meal? Sure. Okay, so tell us about it. Well, You're we going to demonstrate for us, we right? Do, we, do, uh, we do two different, we do a harvest series. So we do yes. one in the spring and one in the fall. So, okay. uh, you know, with the weather, the weather here, there's not really four seasons in Texas, there's like ten. It goes from <laughs> extremely freezing in January yeah. to you don't want to go outside, it's so hot. So mm -hmm. basically uh, we, do three, we do three different dinners in the spring and then three in the fall. Uh, our last one for this series is, uh, is coming up November 16th, mm -hmm. and I kind of base it around Thanksgiving. To me, okay. Thanksgiving is, is, the, is, the best, is, the best, uh, is the best holiday of the whole year. Mm -hmm. um, you, uh, it's about it, food. It's a food holiday. It's a chef's yeah. holiday, uh -huh. right? Um, so I, I have a couple ingredients uh, mm -hmm. that we want to, we were going to do a little demo here. I'm going to make a really nice pumpkin salad with, uh, with a real simple uh, black pepper and honey vinaigrette. So that's that's that. That's the whole dish. So if we came in tonight, this is what you're serving. We could serve this Basically. tonight for okay. sure. Mm -hmm. For sure, our menu changes on a daily basis, basically. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much whatever whatever our farmers can bring us is what we're using. Uh, we do a little taste, a uh, little testing, recipe testing in the afternoon, and uh -huh. then we'll put that menu, uh, that item on the menu that evening. Mm -hmm. So the same mindset goes from the kitchen over to the bar. So we're recipe testing in the afternoon to make a uh, come up with a really really nice cocktail, and the next thing you know, it's on the menu for that night too. Um, and using the same local ingredients, same, same real, real rustic techniques, but the the final product is, is really, really nice. Uh, it's it's a very creative atmosphere because we're constantly changing either our food menu or our bar menu, um, dealing with local purveyors, even at the bar, uh, local beers, local mm -hmm. wines, local tequilas. I mean, whatever we could do to meet uh, as many artists and people in, in Dallas that. that are willing to provide something to us. We, we want to get to know them. So mm -hmm. it's a very artistic approach. It is. Is that it is. something that you always? Yeah, had yeah. In your I cooking? mean, it's it's people people come here and tend to fall in love with a certain dish, and then next thing you know, it's not on here. The next time they come in, and then they're a little upset about it. And it's more or less telling them like, look, let me let me. I'll try and get you to fall in love with something else. Yeah. You know, that that's the whole mentality about it. If you just try something else, I'm I'm sure. Uh, you'll fall in love with that too. So people come in and celebrate fall by having a harvest meal here with Chef Brad Phillips. Thanks, Nellie. If you'd like to make a reservation for the Harvest Dinner, email Azador at reservations at azadordallas.com or call them at 214-267-4815. To see their daily menus, visit azadorrestaurant.com. And after a nice meal, you might want something sweet to eat, perhaps a cookie, but not just any cookie. If you've never had one of Wacom's Kitchen's creations, you are missing out. Here's Katherine Dunn with more. I'm here at Wacom's Kitchen with Paul, who we obviously had to come dressed for the occasion because, Paul, there's something very unique about your kitchen. You wear a certain hat whenever you cook. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually wear the hats when I cook, but I do wear them whenever I demo in stores or work in the farmer's markets. So tell me a little bit about the history of the hats, because this is pretty unique to a bakery. When I started in the fall of 2008, uh, I was, it was the winter, so it was October, moved into winter, I needed somebody to keep my head warm, and my very first hat was one my goddaughters gave me from Austria. And I put some vintage red feathers in them, and the rest is kind of history. So I think now our viewers are, know why we're wearing these crazy hats. One would hope. <laughs> So these cookies are really good. Without giving away any of the secrets, tell me what makes these cookies so good apart from the rest. We make a crunchy cookie. They're all made with natural ingredients, so real butter, cane sugar, unbleached, unbromated flour, aluminum-free baking powder, and cage-free eggs. From there, then, the flavor profiles are unique within the marketplace and uh, even unique within their category. We um, ship all over Texas now. We're in Whole Foods in Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas. 
and a couple big chains in Southern California and then mom and pops around the country. So do you think we could go back in the kitchen and you can teach me how to make these cookies? If you're game. I'm game. <laughs> <laughs>
fun and wiggly and active. He loves toys. He adores people of all ages. He's going to be great for any family. He is a puppy, of course, so he'll need to learn all those great things all puppies need to learn. Sure. Um, how to chew on his toys, how to chew on um, uh, toys mainly, but he also loves to give kisses, so I hope that never, ever goes away. Oh, for sure. He <laughs> is just the sweetest. How much bigger do you think he'll get? You know, it's hard to say. Maybe um, 15 pounds, give or take. Okay. Uh, we don't know what he's mixed with, but he has these precious short legs of a dachshund. <laughs> uh -huh. So, I mean, how can you go wrong? Oh, like, and he's oh, just beautiful. He'll You're be so the snuggliest sweetie. little muscle. I should say. He can be beautiful too. Oh, sure. And so you said he's at the January? He's, yes. He's January going to be available for at the Jan Reese Jones Animal Care Center in okay. West Dallas. And Wonderful. It's, uh, it is uh, 2400 Lone Star Drive in Dallas. And we're here. You people can also see all of our adoptable babies on the website at spca.org. That's great. Now, I understand that the SPCA of Texas really does a lot more than just pet adoptions. And one of the programs I just learned about is like grief counseling. Can you mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. Our wonderful pet grief counseling program is so important. Uh, it is actually celebrating 16 years oh, of offering free services to the community. Uh, this uh, program takes place twice a month every Monday at 1.30 at our Generous Jones Animal Care Center in West Dallas and every third Saturday at 1.30 at our Russell H. Perry Animal Care Center in McKinney. Okay. And it is a free program, like I said, for people to come and talk through their feelings of grief. Uh, it's such a foreign concept to me because I mean, I've always, pets are family. Sure. And I think almost everybody out there agrees. Mm -hmm. Pets are part of the family, but a lot of people don't think about it. Pet grief is just as hard as grief for any family member. Oh, and absolutely. So, yep, this wonderful program led by a very great lady named Dr. Diane Pomerantz. She started the program for us 16 years ago, and uh, it, it, we have wonderful grief counselors and offer that compassionate support for people going through the very difficult uh, process of recovering from their grief. So it is, it's a long process, it's different mm -hmm. for everyone. For sure. And it's an amazing program that really helps people work through their grief over their, their, their wonderful four-legged best friend. Yes, one of my most favorite quotes is about dogs and it's, they're not your whole life, but they make your life whole. I and I just think that's so, so sweet and so mm -hmm. true. Absolutely. So what a great organization. I think Samson's really excited about it too. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he's so cute. I think he's getting tired. He is precious. <laughs> well, thank you so much for all you guys do. And we're hoping we're going to get this little cutie of a home too. So y'all go check him out. Remember, if you'd like to learn more about Samson or any of the other adorable animals that need a good home, visit SPCA.org. Break time again, but keep it here. When we come back, Daniel Doty visits the Red Door Spa and learns how Elizabeth Arden's company has been keeping women looking and feeling beautiful for over 100 years. And Amy Story joins us with a crafty holiday project for the table. This segment of Today with Candace has been brought to you by the Best of Guide. As you can see, I'm here at Weir's gorgeous South Lake location, and here to tell us all about the pick of the week is Lynette. Hey, Lynette, great to see you. Hi, Candace. So if you would, tell us about our insanely comfortable pick of the week. I will. These are Hancock & Moore recliners. They're made in Hickory, North Carolina, so right here in the USA. I love that. This is a tall back recliner. Mm -hmm. It has a deep seat and they're made of a top grain leather which just feels like silk. One of the great features about this is that what, it's something that you can't see actually. They're mm -hmm. made of a solid maple. The legs are part of the structure. They have a turned arm and this nice brass nail head trim yeah, that you that see. Detail. Go ahead and start throwing the hints out there to your loved one because these would make a great gift. They would. Okay, so should we tell them about the special feature that mine has? Yes, let's do. Mine is a three-way pushback recliner, but okay. yours, Candace, it's a power recliner. Wow. Go ahead and push that button inside there. Okay. I'll have to give it a try. Give it a spin, right? Nice. nice. And then does, some, does a little elf pop out and put your blanket on for you, too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you would think so, right? Well, this is really great. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, Lynette. You're welcome. And you guys get over to Weir's and check these out. Marie, you have prediabetes. Prediabetes? I don't have time to eat right or exercise. I'm a busy mom. Oh, you're a busy mom. Yeah. This is great news. Busy moms never get prediabetes. Wait, what? Let me just... Yeah, this is all the people at risk for prediabetes and way over here, busy moms. It 
was really difficult uh, for my husband and I. I was taking injections twice a day. I was also taking about 17 different supplements. We had to find a way to take the 17 pills and and how do, you, how do you take that and make it five pills? We narrowed it down to six core principal ingredients to give us the best fertility supplement on the market. There's nothing else, all six, no fluff. Welcome back. Florence Nightingale Graham, more famously known as Elizabeth Arden, was a pioneer in cosmetics and the spa industry. In fact, she opened her first Red Door Spa in 1910 in New York. Over 100 years and 28 locations later, her brand is still going strong. Here's Danielle Doty with more. We are here at the shops at Willow Bend Mall where you can't help but notice the Red Door Salon and Spa. It's your one-stop shop for relaxation and beauty. The Red Door Spa has been around uh, since 1910 where Elizabeth Arden opened up her first location in New York City on Fifth Avenue. We have award-winning signature services where we use uh, the fundamental techniques of Miss Arden where uh, we do everything from facials to uh, massages, body treatments, as well as nail services and makeup artistry and hair services as well. We are very passionate about um, taking care of others and uh, we understand that it's definitely uh, a, a need to relieve the stress that you have in everyday life and also um, take care of your maintenance as well as being rejuvenated. We do have our products by Elizabeth Arden but we do also carry SkinCeuticals for your facials and we do also have Vila Floriani and for hair we do have Kerastasin as well as Pureology. Delisa, who has been a client of the Red Door Spa for over five years. Delisa, what keeps you coming back? Well, I have to say, just driving up to the salon, the Red Door, the color red signifies celebration, it signifies happiness, and I think we all owe it to ourselves to just find our inner celebration and find our inner happiness. And if you can come to a salon where they can cater to you from head to toe, they anticipate every need and they know what it is that will make you happy as you experience their different services, then of course you want to keep coming back. Absolutely, and I know it's not just a, a hair salon, it's not just a nail salon. They offer so many different things. So as a, as a client, what yes. do you get done? Um, actually, everything. Um, I do get my hair done. I come here for facials. I get my nails done. Um, they offer massages. So you're coming in for an experience, not just a hair treatment or a nail treatment. You're getting the whole deal. Absolutely. Well, I know why you've been here for five years. Can't wait to make my first appointment. If you'd like to learn more about all that the Red Door Spa and Salon has to offer and to book an appointment, go to thereddoor.com. Now this is the time of year many of us start planning our holiday meals and get-togethers. And here to show us an easy way to add a custom touch to your table setting is my great friend Amy Story. Amy, thanks for being oh, here. Thanks so much for having of me. Of course. Such a treat. So what do you have in store for us today? Okay, well, I was thinking as we're getting ready for our Thanksgiving gatherings with our families and friends that um, I'll show you how to make a beautiful um, handmade place setting holder that, is that adorable. you can put at your Thanksgiving table. Cute. Um, so let's, let's get, get started. started. All yeah, right, let's okay. do it. So the first thing, I've already got the little bag ready to go. And okay. these, this is just a simple little, um, little craft, craft bag. Sack. Okay. Craft sack. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, they come in a package. Cute. I think probably like 10 or something in yeah. there. Okay. And so I've got just a napkin, a pretty napkin in there. And okay. we're going to start by making a band around it. So, okay. so you just choose first, your paper. Yeah, yeah, this is some of our designer series paper. Okay. Um, it's Stampin' Up is um, some of their paper they have for fall. Uh huh. Um, so we want to start by putting this piece on to this center one. it. Yeah. Okay. You can use the, this is snail adhesive, which is my favorite adhesive to use. This stuff is the Simple best. and easy. Yeah. And this is probably something that you could even do with your kiddos too, if you'd like, don't you think? Oh, absolutely, yes. Okay, yeah, I've got three girls and they love making. Helping you? Handmade things, yes. Okay, now we just need to put adhesive on the back of that. Okay. And then stick it around the bag. Okay, the whole thing? Yeah. Or just the ends? Uh, you can go ahead and do along here and the ends. Okay. Just to hold it down there good. Yeah, for sure. Okay. And just center it here mm -hmm. again. Just center it there. Cute. And it helps to have the napkin already in it because it's going to be puffed up with the napkin, with the silverware in it, so you want a little extra room around it that way. Sure, okay. Okay, cute. so now. It's we'll already cute, right? I know, I know. <laughs> so now we're going to make it cuter okay. by adding some leaves. Now I've already done some of them ahead of time, but okay. let me show you what. Um, this is a stamp set called Vintage Leaves. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, um, it has a lot of different yeah, options. Yeah, beautiful leaves. And then there's a matching set of, these are called framelits, um, that coordinate with the stamp set. So you can so You don't have to cut it out yourself, right? right. No you don't fussy, have to hand no cut. No fussy cutting. <laughs> I, yeah, fussy cutting is no fun. Exactly. So, okay, um, so, so we're stamp this Yeah, and we're stamping it in the same color of ink as the paper. I love so, that. It's kind um, of so it's, Yeah, it's a tone on tone look. So just stamp okay, your just leaf right on here. there. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be centered because we're going to cut it out. Cute. Okay, now this, to take it over here. To, this is a big shot. It's a die cutting machine and you okay. can emboss on it. Lots of things you can do with it. And we've got a magnetic platform oh, so it makes it super that. easy. That, that's probably but, a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. See. Okay, so you just put that on there. Yes. And then you just run it through the machine and it just cuts it, right? Right. Yep. How so easy just is that? crank it through. Okay, let's see if I can do this without um, <laughs> knocking the table over. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go back one more time. Yeah, it never hurts to go back again just to make sure it cut well. Okay, so we're gonna pull this off of here. Yeah, and that's just gonna pop out quick and easy. Put wow, a couple that's of great. dimensionals. These are little pop dots. Okay. Put them on the back. And what does that do? That just raises it, it up yes, a little bit? Yes, and I love giving everything dimension. So you can just kind of, let's put this one on first. Okay. And this is one cut out of copper foil. Okay. Nice and shiny. Super and cute. then just put that one on there. Really can't go yeah, wrong. You with really how you can't. Place them, you right? just kind of stick them on there, and then here's a little, um, a little sentiment. It says "grateful for you." So cute. So stick that. Okay, put that you stick on. that on. Oh, not upside down though. Don't put it upside yeah. down. <laughs> yeah, it's probably better if we, we can do actually, want your guests to be able to actually read, read how grateful right, they are right. for you. <laughs> and then I've just got a little bit of linen thread. You can just tie it in a bow. That is and precious. pop it on there. Um, with the glue dot. Should have had those out already. We'll take two of those. Of course, that's going to be <laughs> so, it's gonna, not going to work with us, yeah. right? Okay, pop that down, kind of, down a, yeah. The bottom? Yeah. Wow. Ta -da. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is so precious. And you, of course, have a bunch of your other designs here. Just so many cute things you can do. Yes, so much. Now, fun. tell our viewers how they can find you because I know you do classes. And I do, all I do. Sorts of fun I stuff. have um, a website, it's stampedwithjoy.com. And there's a link to my events on there, and I post um, projects all the time, so to give you lots of ideas and inspiration for paper crafting. So fun. Well, yeah. this is great, and this is going to be a lot of fun to make at home for your table with your kids or your family. So thanks so much, Amy. Thank you for having me. And hopefully me. we can have you on again soon. I would love that. And um, we'll have all the directions posted on our website. Time for our last break on the show, but when we return, Catherine Dunn gets an up close and personal look at the wonderful creatures of the Sea Life Grapevine Aquarium. Keep it here. If your business falls into one of our theme categories of home, health and beauty, or leisure, and you'd like to be promoted on our show, drop us a line at info at todaywithcandace.com. Here at Gonzales Bariatrics, we offer three different types of weight loss surgery, laparoscopic wound like gastric bypass, laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy, and laparoscopic adjustable gastric band. I'm a board certified general surgeon as well. We're here to help patients with all of their surgical needs, including possible hernia surgeries, reflux surgery, gallbladder surgery, appendectomies, the whole broad spectrum of abdominal surgery. We can help identify problems they may have and, and help them with surgical solutions. 
Is your home ready for any occasion? If not, it's time to visit Weir's Furniture. Whether you need a new dining room set, bed for the guest room, or a comfy recliner to watch the big game, Weir's Furniture can help make your home the perfect gathering place. With five metro locations and outlet centers, you don't have to drive far for unequaled customer service and a huge selection of quality furniture at affordable prices. Weir's Furniture is family owned and treats its customers like good friends. Weir's Furniture, your life styled. You've messed up your son's haircut. Mm, Mom? Do you A, try to fix it? Like it never happened. B, work with what you got? Or C, show solidarity? Thank you, babe. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Today with Candace has been brought to you by Weir's Furniture. Weir's Furniture is family owned and has been helping GFW families create their own special style of living for nearly 70 years. With a visit to Weir's, you can pick from hundreds of items for indoor and outdoor living. And you don't have to drive far. They have five locations in the Metroplex. Welcome back. With the holiday season here, it's time to start planning what to do with the family while school's out. One place that should be at the top of your list is the Sea Life Grapevine Aquarium. Catherine Dunn takes a tour of this wonderful destination that kids of all ages will enjoy. This crab sculpture is made up entirely of recycled cans, and it's just one of the things that you can sink your claws into here at the Sea Life Grapevine Aquarium. I'm here at the Sea Life Aquarium along with our aquarist, Julie. Now, Julie, what exactly is an aquarist? So, an aquarist is actually a person that takes care of all the animals here. So, we do the feeding, we do the maintenance, we even do some training with our animals. So, basically, just the overall health of the animals is on us. Wow, so what can somebody expect when they come to the Sea Life Aquarium? So when the visitors come to the aquarium, they're definitely going to expect to discover something amazing. We have so many interactive activities, we have educational talks, and lots of conservation tips. We also have reptiles here. During our educational talks, you can find our reptiles here. Uh, you can learn about them, you actually may get to touch one if you're lucky. If you're lucky, all right. Well, I'm really excited to hear about this tour. Do you mind if I take one? Yeah, let's go. So we begin our tour in the shoaling ring, also known as schooling. So these are the fish in the wild that you would see swimming together. So in this tank we replicated that and you can watch them swim all around you. Wow, it's beautiful. So here we're in the room called Stingray Bay. This is one of my personal favorite rooms. So in this tank we actually feature stingrays from all over the world. Now when you come to Sea Life we actually have scheduled educational talks all throughout the day. At 11 o'clock every single day, we actually feed this tank and you can watch it right here. Another special thing about this tank is we're actually breeding a lot of sharks and stingrays at this facility and you can actually see them right here. Our mission is called Breed, Rescue, Protect and we're definitely living up to it. So right over here is one of the most popular tanks. This is of course our Nemo tank. Nemo! We feature different species of clownfish, different types of tanks. This is definitely one of the favorite tanks. So now we're walking into our ocean tank wow. and you have a 360 degree view around the entire area. This tank features huge sharks and stingrays and so many cool species of fish. Ready? I'll be right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cut out for this. Nice work, Catherine. The Sea Life Grapevine Aquarium is open seven days a week and has a variety of ticket options available. To find out more, go to visitsealife.com. Well, that's our show for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, if it deals with your home, your health and beauty, or how to spend your leisure time in DFW, then we'll be talking about it. Check us out at todaywithcandice.com and follow us on social media. We'll be here every weekday morning at 830, but if you can't join us, then be sure to set your DVR. See you next time. Wardrobe for Today with Candace, provided by Dillard's, the style of your life.